Hi, so uh, welcome everyone to uh, the latest uh, of our Together for Business events and the latest in our Power Lunch and Learn, where we fit in gems of uh, knowledge into the, the sort of half an hour that people are, have available uh, in the middle of the day while they can then please feel free to turn your camera off uh, and inhale a sandwich, have a cup of soup, whatever you need to do. But uh, uh, as long as you <laughs> listen intently and and, and, and uh, pick up the, the key information we've got. So welcome. I'm, I'm delighted today that we've got uh, Steve Charles from Quest uh, with us today. And we're going to focus on some of the uh, fantastic services that we have available through um, full chamber membership. So, um, you know, if we have, I'm not sure, I can't see the list, but if we have any non-members here, you know, it's absolutely um, uh, fantastic um, uh, range of events available um, to, um, oh, sorry, range, range of services available to our, our members. Uh, we'll go through them all the way through from uh, legal um, ad ad advice, HR, uh, tax and health and safety, as well as uh, hundreds of documents online, which I, I won't uh, go into too much detail. But uh, I think when we was chatting with Steve, uh, we were talking about uh, earlier this week, you thought you could easily rack up um, even just for basic use of this sort of £1,500 plus a year to, to access these. So um, as I said, without further ado, I'll let Steve give you some of the, 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 the detail of, of that. Thanks. So over to you, Steve. Thank you. Uh, good, after, good, yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I hope you're well. Um, I just want to spend a bit of time talking through these chamber services. Phil, are you going to put the presentation up? So we have a PowerPoint presentation, which I will show you. Uh, we'll, we'll run through. Well, basically, Quest, we are the um, exclusive recommended supplier by the British Chambers of Commerce to the UK Chamber Network. So we're currently supplying Applying 56 UK chambers with the services that I'm going to show you. Um, and I think the 17 of those are in Scotland. So it, the service has been around for a long time. And I don't want you to look at this and think, oh gosh, that's, that's a lot of service there. It's not going to cost me anything because all these services are paid for by chambers. So the chambers are investing in it. So you've got free access to it. Uh, and it isn't too good to be true and it isn't free because the chamber's paying for it it is just doesn't cost you anything over and above your membership fee to access it and there's over well over forty thousand chamber members accessing the service across the uk so it's it's a big scheme so next slide Bill, please um so there are four services uh, which are included in your membership fee that's Chamber HR, Chamber Health and Safety, Chamber Legal and Chamber Tax. So I'm just going to talk through each of those in turn and give you an overview of, of, of what's included. Next one, Phil, please. So you access these um, <clears throat> through various ways. The, the advice lines, uh, there's five advice lines, HR, Health and Safety, Legal, Tax and VAT. Or on one dedicated chamber line, that's all one four five five eight five two zero three seven. That's the number that all the chambers will use. And when if you call it, they'll just ask who you are a member of. The website and the document library. So the website is accessible either through um, your chamber through the department just chambers website, or um, I'm not sure if you're still on, but if you, if we've got you on yet, but the, there should be an access point through chamberhr.co.uk. But you will need your unique login details, uh, which the chamber will supply. Uh, and then the third element of it is you've got legal expenses insurance. So you've got a million pounds worth of legal expenses insurance, which we'll talk about as we, as we go through the four different services. But it's basically a million pounds worth of cover, hundred thousand pound a claim, no access to pay. And if you need to make a claim, you access it by uh, pressing up, pressing option six on the advice line. So basically, the services, four services: advice line, website, insurance. Next one, Phil, please. So Chamber HR is 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 the most used of the four services by quite a distance. And as you might imagine, with all the um, things that have been going on recently. Um, it's been very well used in 2020. And 
basically what you've got access to is an advice line, website, and insurance. So on the HR side and advice, you've got unlimited access 365 days a year to um, very experienced HR advisors. So like I was talking to one of them this morning and a new, and she works, oh, she is a board member of CIPD in the East Midlands. And she's actually fantastic. So the, feed, the feedback we get it, it, about the HR advisors is hugely positive. We don't employ junior advisors. So, you know, if you need to call, you know, you're going to be talking to somebody who knows what they're talking about. But the key thing on that second bullet point there is that it is practical advice, but it is employer focused advice. That's really cool because I've had members talk to me over the years saying, oh, well, if it, you know, I, I can go to ACAS. Well, you, you can go to ACAS, but ACAS is really for the employee, not the employer. And I have talked to people who've had quite uncomfortable experiences dealing with ACAS. This is an employer focused service. The employees cannot use it against the company. So it's, it's definitely on your side. And the stand holding support is, that, you know, if you have a complex situation, they'll help you as much as they can. They'll give you options as to, you know, what you might choose to do. It's not just that the letter of the law, that's what you have to do. It's far more, it's more in depth, more in depth, more consultative than that's probably the best way I can put it. And, you know, at the moment, the things that people are calling about mostly are unfortunately redundancy, disciplinary issues, persistent absence. You know, those are very common things. Um, and, but it basically can be any HR or employment or issue. The second element of Cambridge Charter is the website. So once you get into the website and you log in, you'll see there's three boxes, HR library, health and safety library, legal library. Click on the HR library and you go through to access. The main thing on it is four over 400 employment documents. And they're split into sections and they cover the entire life cycle of an employee from recruitment to employee exit. So offer letters and things like that are all on there uh, and also all the documentation regarding um, somebody leaving the company and everything in between. So there's a full spectrum of employment documents that what we find these days is the number of downloads, I think across the network, there were 64,000 documents downloaded last year. The number is, is increasing every year. This year we added um, a new session uh, well, two new sections. One was on the good work plan because of some significant changes to employment law that came in in April. It got a bit overshadowed really by COVID. Um, but for example, you know, you now have to issue contracts of employment to staff on day one. You don't have a period of grace anymore. And there's some significant uh, points in that that the business owners need to be aware of. But then also, uh, there's a section 12, which is about a COVID section. So in there, you've got all the template documents reg regarding furlough and all the, the changes that have gone on over the last few months. And there has been uh, a few a few changes, <laughs> but you know the relevant documents are all in there and they're all templated for you to use. So that, as you might imagine, that section 12 has been well accessed in the last few months. But also on there, there's a newsroom. So you'll find on there news articles about working at home safely or, um, you know, changes to this to the job retention scheme. We did, we did a news article on the job support scheme, which didn't last very long, obviously, because we changed the mind again. Um, but th there's all sorts of things on there that you, HR and health safety, that you'll find interesting. There's a free HR health check, which is an online very easy 11 questions you fill it in it's, you don't need to talk to anybody you get an instant response but if you want to do that that's on there there's a my documents area on the website where if you're downloading documents you can store them and that is that that's an, a unique area to you so the website is is a fantastic resource um as in more and more members every year are using it now and then the third element of hr is that you in the legal expenses insurance policy that the chamber uh, pays for 
the key area of covering is employment tribunals. There's a big increase in employment tribunals at the minute with lots of changes and redundancies going on. And it's, it is absolutely vital that if you if your business is looking to make people redundant and you need to look into reshape it in some way, you and you, as soon as you think you've got might have a problem, you need to call for advice because the legal expenses insurance is based on prospects of success. So if unfortunately there's been cases over the years and employers have think I want to get rid of this person, they've done something really terrible. So they basically just say, go away, don't come back. If they don't follow correct procedure, whatever the rights and wrongs of what that person has done, if it goes to an employment tribunal, they will lose. If you haven't followed correct procedure, you will lose. So it's really important that as soon as you think you've got a problem, you call for ice and you follow it. And that way the, the uh, insurance will cover um, the preparation of all the legal documents and awards made against you and things like that. So the legal expenses insurance is really valuable, uh, particularly at the minute. So to HR is advice, unlimited advice, it's over 400 documents, it's employment tribunal cover, that's all included in the membership with nothing else to pay. But you also get a free, if you want it, a free one-to-one -one review with one of our business managers. And that's like a gap analysis really of, you know, trying to understand, it's the next level up from a health check and it's way that way. So you are actually talking to somebody, whereas with a health check, you don't. Uh, but they'll try to understand what you're looking to do, um understand what uh how compliant your documents are like your contracts if you've got this policy if you've got that policy and they'll recommend things that uh, you need to do to get where you want to go and it may be that well, most of the time members will be able to do what they need to do themselves using the services they've already got access to but then sometimes members don't and they'll say well i need help with that because I, you know, I can't do it. And we can help them if they want to do that. If, if they need to purchase additional services, we can help them and they'll get cheap, uh, exclusive rates as a member. Sorry, but, Steve, can I, can I just interrupt yeah. one second? There's a wee bit of a funny noise going on. It's almost like you're tapping a mic or something. No. Oh, it's probably uh, me taking my hands about. Right, Sorry. I think that was why we were trying to work yeah. out what it was. I thought it was just okay. me. Sorry, but I thought I'd let you know. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick them under my armpits like that. Um, so, so yeah, so the one-to-one -one reviews have been really valuable. We've been doing those for a year or more now, and they've been really popular. So next slide, Phil, please. The legal services, the second most user of the services, Ice Line, its website, and its insurance. Um, again, it's 365 day access. You've got access to experienced legal advisors, um, and they can help in all sorts of difficult circumstances. This is a really important service for very small businesses, particularly sole traders for whom HR is obviously not that relevant. Uh, but for, for them, the legal services is a real lifeline because you can phone up and talk to the expert for free. Um, and the big things that you can see there at the moment is contract disputes, debt recovery, property disputes. Those are some of the big reasons that people are, are, are calling at the moment. And Unfortunately, you know, debt recovery, getting money in is, is a big issue for people. And as a member, you've got access to free advice. You've also got free documents on the website, um, you know, letters that templates for you to use. And if on debt recovery, for example, you want to do something a bit more than that, we offer a, a service where you can get us, we'll send a solicit, an official solicitor's letter. Uh, for 20 quid but the main thing is that you've got access to the advice and free template documents if you need them contract disputes another big thing that small businesses particularly get get, get uh, in a mess with uh, i should point out that this is a free legal advice service it's not a free legal service there is a distinct difference so if you need contracts or documents reading reviewing creating we can do those but there is an additional charge for that. So what the advisors will do is if you've got a problem is that they will talk to you about whatever it is. They'll give you as much advice as they possibly can. But sometimes that's going to be a signposting exercise to a government website and they'll send you the links where you'll find the answers to the problems that you've got or the questions that you've got. But if you have severe problems like on things like, let's say intellectual property, they will say, you, you know, They'll give as much advice as they can. They'll give you links to information 
but at the end of the day, you may well need an IP solicitor or something like that. So they can't resolve every issue on a, on a, on legally on an advice line, but it's a fantastic service and it has helped loads of people. So on the website, there's over 200 documents, um, checklists, um, say debt recovery letters, contracts, and a whole range of business documents, nearly 200 in total. And um, they're, they're really valuable. You've also got legal expenses insurance and the chunk of legal expenses insurance will cover things like data protection. Um, there's, there's a jury service, which people really like. So if any staff get sent on to jury service, um, you will get cover. Uh, property disputes, um, there's a statutory license protection, things like that are included in it. There's a few uh, areas of cover for staff, like motor disputes, wrongful arrest, and personal injury. Um, I don't think we get a lot of claims on any of those things, but they're all there and you need to be aware of them. So the chamber will have a document which would, uh, called a handbook, which will summarise the area of cover. And if you want a full policy document, you know, that would be available as well. So you need to be aware as a member, particularly small business, you've got access to free legal advice, you've got documents and you've got insurance. Next one, Phil, please. Chamber Health and Safety uh, is a really important service. Again, a lot of businesses don't pay as much attention to health and safety as they do, let's say, with HR. But the key thing with the Chamber Health and Safety Services is all about compliance. And it's the free free service. It's the easiest way to health and safety compliance. Because on, on their on the website, you've got over 100 health and safety documents and a health and safety policy, risk assessment forms, loan worker policies, and things like that. So all the basic stuff that you need to be health and safety compliant is available. If you're not sure the documents you need or how to fill them in, you can phone for advice. So we don't actually get a huge number of health and safety calls, to be honest. We obviously get a reasonable number, but not a huge number compared to HR. But what you do get on the health and safety service is a lot of downloads. So you need to be aware that you've got access to this. And again, for small businesses who tend to, obviously their main focus is on revenue and selling and surviving and obviously understand all that uh, and indeed if you've got five staff or, or under five staff you don't by law need a health and safety policy but but it's recommended that you do have one because if there if something happened and there was a there was, a, there was an incident and uh, even if you've got three staff and you didn't have a health and safety policy that the HSC would down on your ton of bricks basically so it's important that all businesses have basic health and safety compliance and having access to this service is fantastic for small businesses so i'd urge you to go and use use the advice lines if you need it go and have a look at the documents that are on there you've also got uh insurance cover to defend the hsc prosecutions should you need it hopefully you won't but the free one-to-one -one review service I mentioned before also applies to health and safety. So you need to be aware that you know, if you want to have a discussion with somebody, you can do. If you just want to do a, a, a quick online health check on health and safety, you can do that. So there's two levels of checking your compliance levels there. There's the health and check, there's the health check or the one-to-one -one review. Next one, Bill. And finally, Chamber Tax is the fourth of the services. You don't get any documents with this, but what you do get is unlimited calls to tax advisors and VAT advisors. They're very experienced people. Um, they're there to answer any questions that you've got or help you resolve issues. So the number one reason that people call is that help with their tax returns, uh, which you might not be surprised about. But if you've got any questions about benefits of kind, property income, capital gains tax, etc., you can call at any of those things. Uh, and again, I'd urge you to use it. It's an office hour service. But the other key thing with this is a part of the legal expenses insurance, you get tax inquiry cover. Now that's a, a lot of businesses will spend several hundred pounds buying a policy, a tax inquiry cover policy from their accountants. You may not need to because you've got this this cover as part of your legal expenses insurance. So you need to be aware of that. And the other thing at the moment particularly is that 
the HMRC are taking on lots of extra staff to investigate full payments and loans and things like that. They're looking, obviously looking for fraud and fraudulent claims. I know that HMRC have started to get in touch with businesses to say that we're going to have a look, we're going to investigate you. It's important that as a member, you realise that if you've got any questions or you've got any concerns, you can phone, pick up the phone, talk to a tax advisor. And if you do get investigated, you've got insurance to help you to um, do the preparation work to defend it, basically. So those are the four services. For the next one, please, uh, is just a summary of it. So as a member, you've got five advice lines. You've got a website with over three, 800, well, almost 800 free downloadable template documents. These services are all included in your membership fee. There's nothing else to pay. You've got free one-to-one -one reviews for HR and health and safety. These are employer-focused services, so the employees can't use it against you. And the reason we're able to provide all this um, without a fee is because the chamber pays those the chambers pay those fees. We've also worked through lots of trade associations as well. But just on the chamber, there's over forty thousand UK users now, and all that's underpinned by a million pounds worth of legal expenses and insurance if you need support on it. Next slide, the last slide, Phil, please. And then if you need anything additional to that, uh, most people don't, but if you need either bespoke retained services, typically people will want us to do audits or they'll want to do the contracts and handbooks for them. And they've got really complicated issues that need resolving that can't be done just over the phone line. You, people can purchase on one year contracts, bespoke HR or health and safety services. If they don't want that, that isn't appropriate. We can do ad hoc things like settlement agreements or a cast early conciliation. Uh, there's an a cast early conciliation service, you know, like, oh, if you just want contracts and handbooks doing it on their own, we can do that. So we can do whatever people want, basically. So through Chamber HR is a route in, on Chamber Health and Safety are routes into a full HR and health and safety service if you need it. But as I say, most people don't. There's additional legal services on employ, you know, employment, contract law, and things like that. GDPR, we can, we can help with if people need it. Um, and there's insurance. We, we, one of our companies sells basic insurance, you know, uh, employers' liability, public liability, and all that kind of thing. We can help with that if, if that's something that you, you're looking to buy. But the main thing is to remember that you've got access to these five advice lines, these 800 documents. We want members to know that they're there and we want members to use them because that's, you know, I feel a bit like a missionary sometimes just trying to bang the drum and get people to be aware of it and use it because and it's, uh, it's great to see it growing every year. Uh, and we'd love some of your members to uh, to get engaged with it. That's it. I've finished. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. That was uh, very thorough. And hopefully, sorry, we had a few uh, sound issues there, but I think we could hear pretty much uh, most of what, what, what you're saying, which is uh, fantastic. Um, uh, and uh, ho hopefully that gives uh, people who've got, got sort of board members here and uh, members, uh, and uh, uh, hopefully it'll give people an idea of, of, of a real value of you know what above and beyond you know the the, the events and the the sort of uh, other activities we undertake skills and and lobbying etc how much actually built what well, I, I call it built-in value because it's, it's it's stuff that's there that that, that you know if you use it is, is a huge amount of value to to businesses um and probably things that if they're not you know sort of using it they should be because you know it's, it's exactly like you say having those procedures and policies in in place when they're available for you online will help you help cover you um absolutely uh, i should make a point because we, we do have quite a few sort of uh, you know uh, paid up members uh, paying for HR, legal, all that sort of thing. So it's not to replace that. These services are, um, you know, there to, to, to create a, a, a very good level of support. But once you get into that sort of um, bespoke, you know, where, where you really need to get someone under the bonnet, then, you know, it's that absolutely sits hand in hand with that. And it could actually be, you could almost use it as a built in, you know, if, if you, if you, we've had members bringing clients onto this because it adds value to them to give their their clients uh, you know this this really valuable resource and they've actually saved 
Um, people have been, uh, we know businesses that have been paying, you know, way over the odds for what they need um, in terms of HR and, and, and that side of things. And then they've got, you know, they've had a look at the, 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 the portal that's available and they've just gone, well, we'll just join up as a member because that's probably about two months what we're paying at the moment to, to an HR consultant sort of thing. So to, to get um, access to that, uh, as you know, some of the really big uh consultancies will charge you you know quite a whack um to to access their online resources so um uh, that, that hopefully that's given you an idea and, and i think you know use it with your clients um and please spread the word because i look at this and think you know absolutely every small business should have this as uh, uh, as part of their toolkit sort of thing so um at, at, at that point um if, if you've got any questions i'm just gonna go to gallery view and see if, if you want to put your hand up if anyone's got any specific questions um got nick nick if i can bring you in if you can unmute yeah thank you damon um uh, Steve, that was very interesting. Um, that was very, very detailed. Um, I was going to ask you, in terms of um, the advice or support you can give to resolving property disputes, can you give an example of a property dispute um, to, to let me kind of understand that a little bit clearer? Um, I couldn't give you a, a particular case study, but I mean, when, when we are talking about property disputes, that's either for either landlords or tenants. So if you're if you're a landlord and you've got an issue with a tenant, um, obviously explain what it is we can help you. And then conversely, if you're a business that are a tenant of a landlord, um, and, and the reason it's it's quite it's quite highlighted at the minute is that during the um, you know the lockdown and all the, and things like that, people made a lot of arrangements with landlords between landlords and tenants for rate rebates or you know to freeze rents and all this kind of stuff and not all those arrangements have been adhered to so it has caused quite a few issues so it's it's there to protect landlords or tenants it depends really who the member is so if you're a member and you're a, you're a tenant it can help you but it, but equally we've got companies that are landlords um and it got help them as well as well in whatever dispute they've got i don't know if that really answers your question because i am i can't i'm trying to desperately to think of a of a case study and i can't I'll so, i'm sure as soon as this is finished yeah. i will no that that is helpful but i think um you know the the, the explanation of why when, when they might get involved when there's been a, a an agreement that departs from the lease uh, yeah to, i think you know because most leases uh, will have provision for disputes uh but You've given a very good example, actually, and I, just, I, can, I can see the benefits of uh, of getting advice on that. So thanks, thanks for that, Steve. Okay, that's great. And uh, if, if anyone's on here, obviously, who would uh, is is a full member of the chamber and would hasn't got their login, please just drop me a line, and I'll uh, give you that and, and and give you the link and your your login details. So, Moise, you had your hand up. Yeah, it's Damon. <laughs> I was going to say, can I get my access? That'd be great, first of all. Um, Steve, question. Um, can you use this for personal um, issues that might come up? So I'm thinking more the legal side, if there was anything more personally that that you had a dispute with um, yeah. and you're you, fully you signed can up? Do. I mean, we always highlight it as a, as a commercial legal advice line. Uh, but if you want to phone it and you, you have, a, you have a, an issue and you are the member, then yes they can help you i mean i've heard them giving advice on parking tickets and all sorts um so yes you, you can do but it, it's important that you know it's not a free legal service for all employees on their personal issues because the whole thing would, would crash if that if that happened but if, if you if if you're the you know if you're the member or the principal person within that business and you want to ask something they're not going to say i'll I can't think of any reason that they would say we can't help you with that. I think think when you, if you if you're getting divorced, I think you know that, that, I don't know whether they can help too much with that. <laughs> I don't think that really comes into it. Um, but yeah, they they're, they're sort of it's it's interesting really because their their expertise is they are generalists. You know, they've got legal books all over the place. Um, and they have to be ex sort of experts in everything, really. But um, we focus and promote it as commercial legal advice. But I, I think they can help with anything. 
and I'd say I have heard him talk, giving advice on people getting parking tickets and things like that. So, great, thank you. Thanks for that. One thing that that's made me think of there as well is some uh, an, another real benefit of this um, that people can take to uh, use them for themselves or uh, clients or contacts as well is um, we started talking a lot about, uh, you know, putting forward for contracts and public sector procurement, these sort of things. So, um, you know, quite often uh, I've been there myself, you, you start looking through your, you know, they're quite in depth and, and there's certain boxes you need to tick, um, you know, in terms of your, your health and safety policies, your equal opportunities, all, all these sort of things that are available uh, just instantly uh, from from the portal to make sure that you can uh, cover yourself in terms of the uh, requirements of any of that sort of thing. Uh, and I, I think more and more private uh, companies are expecting uh, these uh, documents as well. Obviously, you know, health and safety uh, when when you're operating in that uh, in that area. So, um, all right. So, uh, any more questions? Um, just looking around the room. Uh, no, okay. Well, well, as I said, please do spread the word because I think it is a little bit like um, you know, sort of being uh, you know, it, 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 it's one of those things that I look at, and you know, even if it's just as a backup, you know, if, if you use some of these things, you know, once you would you know, make your, your 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 sort of membership back in one fell swoop, and having that, and I know people don't like the grudge purchases in terms of insurances and what have you, but. I tell you when you do, you know, appreciate them is when something happens and you need to, you know, even get a bit of initial legal advice uh, or something, you know, escalates, um, uh, you know, because again, it's uh, that, that that can pay for your your, your membership in, in in one fell swoop as well. So there's a huge amount of value. Uh, you know, it is a is, is a case of uh, you know getting in about it and and, and using it. Uh, and please do um, sort of, uh, you know, pass on this information because uh, I think it's uh, amazing value for, for what you get. So th thank you very much for, for coming. Th thanks so much to, to Steve for giving us such a comprehensive uh, insight. Apologies for a uh, wee bit of a um, issue. I'm not sure what, what that was, um, but uh, th thanks very much for that. And thank you everyone for, for joining us and finding out a bit more about those, those built-in services. Hope to, to see you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you.